as a Rolodex. Dinosaurs. It's awesome. So it's like whatever, I just don't use all the other crap. Illustrated by Dale Bicell. Okay, well, let's see. My my son is using a long time ago. Before there was you. No. Dinosaurs roamed Earth. This really is true. That's the that's life at my house. From the forest green to the muddy swamp. Both of my kids are pretty technically adept. You know, like my older one has a YouTube channel. Like he uses yeah he he uses like well we set it up for him but like. There's there's a there's an app that lets you do stop motion animation, so he does these like stop motion animations of like his dinosaurs. But not to be me. We call it. But Raleigh videotapes stuff and then puts them on YouTube too. Yes, I know he does, and we're gonna delete some of that. When dinosaur carnivores looked for lunch, they found other animals to crunch and crunch. Yeah, I know. They really are. I mean, everybody, I know everybody thinks their kids are, are special, but it's like, you know, it could like some of the things that I've got to do, like, my job is to pull it down. It's sharp teeth. Good and bad, but... Alright, <laughs> <laughs> now let's get that galactic healer. Okay, okay. Tyrannosaurus Rex was okay. long and was long. Oh. Some animals eat plants. They never eat meat. We call them herbivores. Leafy greens are their treat. When dinosaur herbivores looked for lunch, they found tasty plants to munch the munch. Apatosaurus was as big as a house, but the brain in its head was the size of a mouse. Its body was much like an elephant's, we're told. Its long neck and long tail were a sight to behold. Mighty Stegosaurus had bony plates on its back and spikes on its tail to fend off. Hey, why do you have that? What? That yeah, tail could swing from the left to the right to protect Stegosaurus if it needed to fight. Triceratops was three-horned, so the story goes. One horn above <laughs> each eye and one upon its nose. <laughs> its shield-shaped head was made of bone. So most of the time, carnivores left it alone. What made Corythosaurus stand out from the rest? It blew a booming sound out of its crest. The crest is the bone on the top of its head. Some like to call it a helmet instead. Where are the dinosaurs? Where can they be? On this, most paleontologists agree. After an asteroid fell from space, the Earth became an unfriendly place. Mama, Great don't the clouds blocked out the sun. Each that day was colder than the previous one. And so, without sunlight to keep them alive, mm -hmm. the poor dinosaurs could no longer survive. Uh, who's my buddy? Who's my buddy? Who's my buddy? Fossils. How do we know about life long ago? The Earth's fossil. <laughs> it tells us so. Fossils are plants, teeth, eggs, and bones. You have over millions you of have bones have turned to stone. <laughs> Most fossils are buried deep in the ground. How old or how new? 
It depends where they're found. Layers of rock and mud tell the Earth's history. Each fossil buried is part of the mystery of changes through time, large and small. The Earth's fossil record contains it all. We imagined all dinosaurs as reptiles with scales, running from the tops of their heads to their tails. But a recent discovery revealed something new. Tyrannus. Several dinosaur fossils with a feathery clue. Velociraptor. Fluffy, feathered dinosaurs? It sounds so absurd. But some dinosaurs are ancestors of birds. Like Velociraptor. So far, the feathered dinosaurs we know are quite small. Feathered tyrant, Euteranus, is the largest of them all. T. rex is its relative, and paleontologists say they are both distant cousins to the chickens of today. Knew it. I knew T. rex. Do you ever wonder about life long ago? Do you sometimes ask, now why is this so? If you think about dinosaurs, then I might suggest, when you're grown, you become a paleontologist. <laughs>